Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Good morning. Let's get ready. Today is Monday, um, and I'm pretty excited to kick the week off because, sorry, pretty excited to kick the week off because, um, oh my gosh, I get through this week, and next week we are leaving for Gen Con. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. I also have a lot of new stuff. I did that huge Ulta haul, um, and I actually got two more palettes from Ulta when I went in person, because I went in person to pick up my diamond gift, uh, which was just a shape tape radiant. I've never tried the radiant, so. Um, you could pick different gifts, but I picked the shape tape in it. Anyway, anyway, I used that today. Anyway, um, e.l.f. eyeshadow primer, the new one. But I'm trying to do full glam beat this morning. I can't remember if I need gas because I, I think I have enough gas to get to work. Anyway, I might have to fill up this morning anyway. I just, whatever. Um, yeah, we leave for Gen Con next week. So I am just doing my normal filming this week. Thank you guys so much for the feedback on me and August's collab with our tiny purses. That was fun. Um, I will be packing makeup and stuff for Gen Con. Will it be super tiny? No, because space is not that much of a premium, but we will we will do a video on that. Um, okay, so I don't think I showed you guys these. I, I didn't because I went to Ulta to get my diamond gift and I saw these. I didn't see them in the new area on the Ulta website, but sometimes everything that's new is not in that area. So LA Girl has these new palettes, the, sun, the Sunset Days Eyeshadow Collection. They also have bronzing drops. I bought the bronzing drops too. So this palette is called Under the Sun. These remind me of Wet n Wild palettes, like the color schemes that Wet n Wild would have. That's Under the Sun, and then this one reminds me of another Wet Wild palette. This one's called Summer Nights. Uh, I love the packaging on these. Summer Nights. Um, I'll probably use one of those tomorrow or the day after, but today, since I want to go in order when I got these things, I'm going to use this Revolution palette the True Icon palette that has the cream in it. I don't know if I'm going to use the cream part, but this is what we're going to use today. And it was very reflective. Um, I'm going to start building up my crease here. I am still working on my timing for work. Um, I was stopping at like Dunkin' Donuts in the morning to get my tea, and I'm going to stop doing that because it's not that it's a waste of money because it brings me joy but I have tea at home <laughs> I'm trying to get streamlined um kind of get, I still get to work at, at 7 a.m. I do not need to be there that early you kind of make your own not make your own hours but like I get to work you get to work between 7 and like 8.30 I like to be there early because I like to leave early um but with that being said I'm going to take that extra time that would I would take to you know stop and yeah whatever and that's I'm gonna make my breakfast I think I'm ready to well, I know I'm ready to meal prep my breakfast my little egg things and stuff I don't know this week is going to be all over the place since we're going out of town for five days <laughs> I'm about to stack up a bunch of food but anyway we'll figure it out so I'm gonna build that up And um, I really like these metallic shades, so I might do one of the pinky rose golds or something on the lid. But right now, let's deepen up the crease. Yeah, so I don't want to like go too hard on a vlog this year when we go. Um, this is a lot of footage, but I think, I don't know, I think I'll post clips, like, I don't know, I'll probably do a vlog, it'll be a shorter vlog, and I'll post more, maybe, on my Instagram stories, and, um, 
maybe shorts, I don't know. I'm going to take footage. How I'm going to present said footage, I do not know. excited to get through this week. We leave on Wednesday of next week. So I don't know when you'll see in this video. If you're going to see this video when we're already there or oh, sorry when we're already there or I don't know. No idea. But <clears throat> I'm going to use this lightest shade for my brow highlight. Get that out of the way. Oh, that's kind of patchy because I'm putting it over the concealer I used to carve my brows out. So I need to work a little bit. It blends up. Um, yeah, I'm super excited about it. Though. Like, super excited. We played, oh my god. So my mom, my brother, and his girlfriend came over. And yesterday and we played um, I think I want to like half cut crease this to really make it make it something to really emphasize that means I gotta wear some lashes today which I'm not opposed to not opposed to at all um I am trying to, trying to find a brush cut my crease with this I have to do um I'm gonna cut my crease half cut there we go that was easy I want it to be. Oh gosh. Uh, didn't want that to have to take too much time. <laughs> Boom. It's been a while since I cut a crease, but she still got it apparently. Let's cut that. Perfect. Okay. Nice. Alright, let's see what these metallic shades are about in this palette, Makeup Revolution. I'm probably going to use the dark brown as, again to um, so let's see. Oh, it's beautiful. I don't know which one. Definitely, I think this pinky one in the middle. This one here. I usually figure out what I'm wearing before I come back in here and put my makeup on, but that didn't happen today. All my laundry is done and clean, everything is put away, so I have a lot of options. It's not too much to deal with. Okay, so yesterday, my mother and Christian's girlfriend came over for a game day, or game afternoon, and we played Dice Throne. So my favorite game right now, my favorite board game is called Dice Throne, and it is so fun, and the game is a... I don't know what type of game you would call it, a battle game, a fighting game. So you can play with two people. You can play with two people. Oh, that's pretty. You can play with two people, two plus people. So when it's just two people, you have a character, your opponent has a character, and you guys use special abilities, and every character is unique. They have special abilities and different upgrades they can use, and you're trying to kill the other person. And it's called Dice Throne because you roll dice. It's almost like a best combination situation. The best combinations you can make align with the different attacks you can make, and you have to kill each other. And there's defenses and things like that. And so I've played with two people, and then I've played with four people, and if you play with four people, it's uh, two versus two. It's two teams of two. 
Um, and so um, I've played that plenty of times. And yesterday, my, we taught my mother how to play, and so me and her were on a team. My favorite character is the Barbarian, by the way. I play, I play the Barbarian. Uh, that's my favorite character. But anyway, um, we played with five people, which I never played with five people before. And that's like, the way you play five people is like every man for himself. Uh, it's called King of the Hill, and we played that, and it got serious. People were people were throwing out cards to help each other, hurt each other. It was so fun. And Dice Throne, this booth, they are going to be at Gen Con, and I'm super excited because I am going to get um, some more versions of the game. They have, like, box sets and different things with different characters, and that's a really pretty eyeshadow. We're doing good on a Monday. We're doing good on a Monday, friends. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, it was so fun. And, um, yeah, and there's also a booth called Modern Meeple. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shop around to see if there are other booths that do this. I don't think so. But, um, so we put that, that metallic is beautiful. And then I'm going to just go back with the, um, Deeper shade I put on and get that good. I don't know if I want to wing on this. Do I? I don't. I don't. I don't know. I need to think about that. Shit. This is look good with eyeliner. I don't know what to do. Let's put a wing on. Put a wing on real quick. Um. Anyway, the uh, the the company, um, Modern Meeple, they make trays, wooden trays, um, that you can sit all your components of the game, and it's really nice. So I think I'm going to get one of those. I'm going to put my Sephora tape on. So you can do like a half cut, super dramatic. I use four eyeshadows, I believe. Four. To get this look. Let's put this tape on. Like that. I don't know if our heat wave is over, but I hope it is. It's been super hot. And God, I can't wait for fall. My birthday's over, so the cool the cool weather can come. Alright, this eyeliner has been doing well. It is the LA Girl, oh, I'm sorry, LA Colors Matte Liquid Liner. I got it from the Dollar Tree and I have been using it for my wings ever since I got it. And honestly, not bad. So how fast I did that? Okay. Let's make sure that's on. I peeled that up like four times. Okay. Um. So yeah, I'm super excited. I don't have a huge shopping list, just mainly that game. Other than that, I really just want to play games with people. I really didn't get to sit and play many games. I mean, I got to do like demos and stuff, but there's like an open play section and I really want to take advantage of that. All right, we got a wing and I can't peel it. All righty, it's not bad. That one's shorter than that one. 
Um, uh, I'll solve that problem later. Okay, so I am going to take a time. I'm going to curl my lashes, put on mascara, decide if I'm going to do something under here, let you know, and put on the lashes, get my skin prepped for the face because I got a lot of new stuff for the face. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm here. I'm back. Let's see what we have. We have lashes on. That looks great. We have lashes on. I did prime with my NYX, uh, my NYX Shine Killer, as well as my Urban, Urban Decay All Nighter. I color corrected with my Huda Beauty color corrector, and I did put like a, a brown uh, waterline liner on. And so for foundation. I am going to use the Too Faced Born This Way Soft Matte Foundation. I like this foundation. I've already used it. Actually, I was wearing it in the Ulta haul. Um, but I'm going to mix it with some bronzing drops because I haven't done that done that with any foundation in a while. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Sun Kiss Liquid Bronzing Drops. I'm going to mix the two. Um, we'll see how it looks. I'm going to do one pump because I had a lot. I'm going to do one pump. That's one pump. You can do your whole face with one pump with the Too Faced. Um, I'm gonna throw, I don't know, about that much in it. Put the bronzing drops on top. Let's see what happens. Um, Oh, really get I'm trying to use it, not be wasteful. Okay, I put this on with a sponge before, but I did not wet one this morning, and I don't feel like doing it now. So. I'm gonna use a brush. This is the, is this e.l.f.? No, this is the Zor, Zorea Slanted Powder. Not Zoeva, Zorea. Um, but I use it for foundation. This is, um, this brush came from Amazon, I think. So, this soft matte foundation gives beautiful coverage. It's Too Faced. I, I, I haven't had a Too Faced foundation I didn't like. The soft matte. And so, mixing it with the bronzing drops honestly gave it a more skin like appearance I definitely can see a little bit of glowy coming through and I'm not mad I'm not mad <laughs> these braids come out this week there's so much to do these braids come out this week the fair is in town uh, we haven't even gone yet it started on Friday we didn't go at all this weekend I was doing other things but we're gonna go um, probably once or twice during the week and then we're gonna go on Saturday, Jessica's coming up to go. So that's happening. And then, I gotta get these braids out because I have a new braid appointment on Saturday morning with my cousin, like I said, like, and that's pretty. That face looks good. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. That looks really good. The bronzing drops like, adjusted the tone a little bit and it, um, it's almost more of a satin finish. A satin matte. I like that. I really like what we got going on here. I have created a habit which I'm really proud of. So I use this little palette here and there. Sometimes I use the back of my hand. But I use this little palette for my eyelash glue, pumping foundation mixes and things like that. And I used to not clean it off immediately. Um, I used to not clean it off immediately and then it would get everywhere. I would touch it. I made a habit to wipe that thing off since I'm done with it. So I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Radiant. I haven't used the radiant. This is a tan sand. I am going to not use as much as I usually do. Because one thing we know about shape tape is going to cover. And I'm using a brush. We're going to start with that because one thing we know about shape tape 
It's gonna go a long way is what is what we know. <sighs> yeah, so and I can add more if I need to. This brush is good. This is the real techniques. It's a filtered cheek brush. Way too small for me, for my cheeks. But it work to nicely blend out some concealer, I tell you that. Oh, face is this concealer definitely is radiant. It's giving a glow. It's I don't know in terms of coverage if it's anymore. If it's covering more than normal shape tape, I don't think so. Or the same as normal shape tape, I also don't think so, but. It's okay. There we go. A little bit more was needed. If not. Oh, wow. I'm having some, let me see. That's really radiant. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not upset about it, but you really can see that. Usually with glowy con glowy concealers, I don't I don't always see what the hell they're talking about, but I can see on this one. We're going to mattify some things a little bit more. This is the La Mercier. It's my ultra blur. Hey, yeah, yeah, definitely radiant, definitely beautiful. Wow. Okay. You know, Laura Mercier will get it every time, get it done. Wow, really pretty. All right. Set the rest of my face. Do I want to do a remote statement? <laughs> um, sure. A little light, a little light remote statement because I want to use my giant powder brush. Not yet. So I'm gonna take some Rimmel Stay Stay Man over the face. There is this radiant concealer is and I don't know if it's a combination but I'm looking and I see like my foundation separating not on my face but definitely on my nose a little bit um hmm hmm do I like that all right okay that looks much better the rest of the face looks really good too okay all right maybe that was a little little mishap maybe but the face is looking really good. I'm gonna bronze. I got a lot of these stuff, but I think they're all liquid. And I can't deal with that this morning. <laughs> oh. You guys, this is the Sephora bronzer. This one and the e.l.f. one have been really all I've been using. And I love both of them very much. Very much. What the hell am I wearing today, you guys? I do not know. I do not know. Alright, I do want to wear a new blush. I really want to put on this one, okay. Alrighty. 
then let's figure out our highlights. Oh, I can put on some more mascara. <laughs> Super excited. I will figure out my outfit. And then figure out, I don't know. I do not know. Okay, blush, we got the, picked out the blush. Let's figure out a highlighter. So many in here. Let's do, oh, this one will be pretty. This pinky one from, um, uh, uh, Essence. We'll use this today. Okay. For my blush, I'm going to use the MAC uh, Glow Play Blush in Big Diva Energy. I'm going to use this. Ugh. Use this brush for it. Let's pick up some. Let's... Love blush. Let's really get that. Yes. Blend that. Blend that. Mm -hmm. Is it picking up? No, it's not picking up. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Let's do this side. Good blush. Good, good. Okay. Um, and then for highlighter, we have this one. I don't know if it's going to be my inner corner. I don't think so. But this is the liquid highlighter from Essence Glow Baby. Baby Got Glow. To be honest, I don't like the sponge tip. I'm going to put some on my hand because we don't like. I just don't like the sponge tip. This is pretty. So I'm gonna Take my finger, and then I'm going to blend it with a brush. And all of my foundation came off. Ooh, this combo. Wait a minute. Yeah, I don't know. It's not bad. Okay, that looks good. But you def it, you need to be careful because it definitely, these combination of products today are just not... I don't think it's the product's fault. It's just not behaving that nicely with my foundation. So what I'm gonna do, that looks good though. I think I salvaged it, I, I salvaged it. Not super concerned, but, cause it doesn't look bad. If you're looking at me just like this, you can't tell, but me getting up in here, we wanna be careful. Um. Wow, okay, all right, I'm really liking this look, but we gotta be careful. So what I'm gonna do is make sure I lock this in because it's fragile. Wow. And when you use new things, you don't know which part of it. So I'm gonna use this light, the lightest metallic we have in the palette, and I'm going to put that on my inner corner. really pretty look today all right I am gonna wear I don't even know what lip I'm gonna wear let me figure out what I'm wearing do my lip and I'll come back with the full thing I'll be back hey okay we're not wearing lashes because this eye didn't want to behave and I took it off and tried to put it back on twice would not stick I tried to peel off all the glue try it just wouldn't stick so we're not wearing lashes and that's that I am wearing my Juvia's Place lip liner in score. Is this what is this? Coffee bean, and we're gonna do. We're gonna use one of those new slim sticks from Essence. Sometimes I cover my lip ring 
when I'm wearing a lip. Sometimes I don't. Today, I think I am not going to cover it. I think I want a pinky shade. <sighs> Help me, Jesus. I'm going to do... Velvet Punch. That's pretty. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. I am going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.